before we can start trying to hack into networks and break into them, there's a few basics that we need to learn before we can do that. So basically, what is a network? A network is just a number of devices connected together. They are connected together for a reason so that they can share data. This data can be files, can be uh, resources. It can be, for example, your home network. Usually you use it to just access the internet, which is you can look at it as a resource or as a source of data. So all networks, Wi-Fi or wired, achieve this sharing of data using the same principle. And that principle is you need a device uh, that acts as a server. And then all devices communicate with the server. So the server has access to the resource and all the other devices on the network that are connected to this server, obviously, uh, they can access the data from the server. So on most Wi-Fi networks, the server is the router and all devices connect to this router and they access the internet through the router. So all the devices on the network have no access to the internet, as we can see in this uh, diagram. The only device in the network that is connected to the internet is the Wi-Fi router. All the other devices, as we can see here, we have client one and two and three, they have no access to the internet, but they can access it by connecting to the router. So whenever client three, for example, if it wants to open google.com, it's going to send a request to the router asking it, okay, I need google.com. The router is going to go to the internet. It's going to grab google.com and then forward it back to client number three. So client number three does not have direct access to the internet. It has to go through the router and the router is going to bring uh, the request and send the response back to client number three. Now all of this data requests and responses are transfer, transferred through back packets. So you can imagine all these arrows are a number of packets being sent between the clients and the router. And in Wi-Fi networks, these packets are sent into the air, so they're broadcasted. And if you're, if you're within range with these packets, then you can just uh, sniff them, capture them, and read them, and you'll, you'll be able to see the information in there. So all this data, so whether it's usernames, passwords, videos, audio, music, chats, all of that is transferred as packets. And it's always transferred between the client and the router because the client has no access to the internet. So if you capture these packets, you'll be able to see all of this data that's transferred. You'll be able to see all these passwords, usernames, emails, videos, all that. You'll be able to capture it and read it on your device.